Hello, good morning. Actually, it's, it's good afternoon, but it feels like morning because I feel like I just woke up. <laughs> when I work at the bar, I don't finish till like half 12, one ish. And then I don't go to sleep till like two, half two. And then I try to wake up early and then I just fall back asleep. <laughs> Next thing I know, it's like 9, 10, 11. And usually I'm like a seven, 8 a.m. -er. so yeah tired but fine absolutely fine <laughs> absolutely fine really beautiful thing about the spiritual awakening is that you stop seeking the wrong things in life um, it's quite simple in the sense that you know we we tend to always look for the wrong things um, it's a result of cycles within us that we get used to and recognize as being comfortable and sometimes we don't want them, but because they are comfortable and because we've always been in those same cycles, we tend to just fall back into them. Um, when my eyes opened, I actually saw my life for what it was so clearly that I had to, I, I just felt compelled to break it all down and start writing it all out. And um, I was writing it in like the sense that it was very present it was all like this is how i am but this is no longer how i'm gonna be i was just removing it all i was i was choosing to never be the, the kind of person that i was before because i just knew that i could not i could not encounter that person and feel happy it just wasn't possible um wayne dyer he said it in a video that i watched where he said um everybody is always looking to be offended and it is true. It's true that we are, well, <laughs> I was, excuse me. I was always seeking anger and frustration and annoyance in life. I was always looking for a reason to retaliate. I always wanted to react to everything and it was it was habitual it was not it was not me it wasn't my true self it's not how i naturally am as a person it was a result of me always um feeling comfortable in that space because that's all i ever knew and as soon as uh, i started to come to a more awakened place it happened over months and months and months because it started pretty much instantaneously where I, um, straight after the breakup, I'd say after a month, I was like in deep, deep introspection. I was just like, I don't know why this person doesn't want to be with me, but I know that I don't want to be with me. So if I don't want to be with me, then that explains why they don't. So then I had to go into it. I had to get to the bottom of it, like really look at myself, look at all of my, my traits, my characteristics, uh, my behaviors my attitudes, my emotions, I had, to, I had to get to the bottom of everything um, and that really helped me decipher what was going on in my life and where I needed to, to go from there. I had no idea that I was on, on my way to a spiritual awakening. It was only, it was only when um, one day, I've, I've explained, I've, I suddenly like decided I can't feel this way anymore. Um, I think my cousin had a huge part to play when he said just no more excuses Olivia like all I'm hearing is excuses and the way he was living is the way I felt I know I needed to live and it all just sparked from there and um, to go from the kind of person that was literally creating scenarios in her head every day of um, situations where I could be offended or angered or irritated in some way so that I could react. And I was actually building up those feelings inside. I was creating them constantly and I was creating those scenarios in my life to how I am now, where I just don't react badly to anything. And if, if there is a situation that arises where 
before I would have reacted poorly. Now I know that I can just react calmly and be like, you know what, there's more life. And where this person's coming from might be valid, but actually their anger is a result of something in them. So I just have to look deeper and I just have to understand that not everybody is at the same point as me but everybody is always learning and I appreciate that and I respect it I actually really love it because you know I was I I'm on a journey but I was on a path of discovering who I really was and in that path I was still an angry person um, but I was trying really hard not to be but I was still that old person and then then when I had my ego death and I had the you know, start of a new self, this new life where I could visual myself and go places and sit in peace and read a book and not not be so focused on everyone around me. I, I, I used to walk in a room, I used to walk into a room and my attention would be on everyone else in the room. I would be pinpointing the pretty girls in the room to make myself feel bad to make me feel like I wasn't wanted. I used to think that every girl in that room was more valid than me. And I used to, I used to literally believe that my boyfriend at the time, that he wanted every other girl than me. How could, how could he possibly want me if I was always thinking he wanted someone else? I mean, like, in essence, I, I caused the end but I'm happy that I did. Even though it came from a very horrible place, I do think the best things come from the worst places. And you know, a lot of people say like, when they turn their life around and they hit rock bottom and then they, you know, they found a new lease of life and everything. It really, um, it really does work that way. And it's, it's such a beautiful thing. And I just, I just appreciate it so much because honestly, if, if there's a piece of advice that I can give right now, it's um, if you're going through pain, go through the pain. Like, really go through it. Take the pain. Look at the pain. Understand the pain. Be with it. And understand that that pain won't last forever. But while you're in it, it is, it is forming a new life in itself. It's, it's essentially, it's, um, you know... It's like a, a plant pot with a seed in, and all you're seeing is the soil on the top, which looks empty, but underneath there's a seed growing, and the roots are starting to form and really plant themselves. And soon enough, this plant is gonna rise above the surface and grow into this beautiful flower or tree or whatever. And it, Currently, you could be under the surface, in the darkness, feeling lost, pushing so hard to grow and become this new life, and you don't feel like you're going to get there, but you um, you essentially have to get there. You you will not remain there forever. Like it is just a it's it's a growth, it's an evolution, and you do get there eventually. So you know that is that is what it is. Essentially. It's just always amazing to hear somebody say out loud that you've got this. Everything is going to work out. It always works out. Do you know, just keep the faith. Stay strong. Keep going. You've got this. It doesn't stay as bad as it is forever. And life is too beautiful to not show you the beauty. You're going to see it. Um, and, you know, watch this video. Remind yourself that everybody goes through these things and they are designed to help us move forward and grow as people and evolve and become our best selves. And that, that is what life is about. So, on that note, I'm going to leave it there. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I've really enjoyed um, doing it. I don't know what I'm going to say. <laughs> I'm, I'm eating a lemon drizzle. It's very tasty. There's a lovely crispy drizzly bit on the top. It's not too sweet, which I like. And a chai latte, which I have everywhere I go. <laughs> um, and I'm just about to start reading A New Earth by Eckhart Tolle, um, which I've had for a long time and only read little bits of it, but I'm going to read it properly.
now so you know go and enjoy your solitude if that's what you want to be if you want to be alone don't feel bad about it just go be alone it's, it's fine if you're happy you're happy you do what feels right you follow your emotions your emotions are your guidance system they do lead you to where you essentially need to be everything in your life is guiding you to the point at which it's guiding you towards your better life all the time you know sometimes i question is is life already done is my life already done and, and i'm just i'm just being guided into it um which is quite exciting for me i don't find that like scary or or weird or anything i i find that really exciting that my life is done because if it's done in the way that i'm imagining it is incredible i'm so excited i can't wait um and enjoy the journey don't want to skip to that point because i'm enjoying myself so much now that i know it's just going to progress and continue to get better and just keep loving life listen to some music you know journal journals fun. journaling is fun meditation is fun getting out in nature is fun doing what you love is is the most important thing and um, that is what life's about so thank you very very much for coming to the sanctuary it's been a lovely calm one today i've really enjoyed it see you soon, see you soon. <laughs>